Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. My name is Prime and today we're going over the Firecrest 2.0. Yes, the Ortiz X0 new gear set coming to Season 2. And it is a lot of fun to play around with. The 360 spinning fire turret burning everybody in that vicinity of 20 meters almost a 20 meter range on every single build it is a lot of fun to play around with you can set people on fire in smaller rooms you can just keep them on fire most of the time and then wait until they die from the burn or of course take them out with your gun because they won't shoot back they're on fire they're trying to put themselves out it is a lot of fun to play around with so let's dive right into the gear set and let me show you what this Ortiz X0 is all about. And this is the set and it's on the PTS. This is the public test server on PC. So don't forget, these are still tests going on until season two will be released in October. So there are still things subject to change. But for now, this is the gear set, the Ortiz X0 aka the Firecrest 2.0. When you have two pieces equipped, it will increase your burn duration by 20% and 15% of your skill health. For the three pieces equipped, you will increase your burn damage by 40% and that is a lot. But of course, we're doing it for the four pieces, the Ortiz Incinerator Turret prototype. The Incinerator Turret spins 360 degrees and you are immune to your own Incinerator Turret's fire and the Incinerator Turret explodes when it disables. So if you stand inside of your own flames, you will not get burned, but that explosion will do damage to you. So make sure whenever this thing goes in cooldown it will explode that you will not be around your turret the nice thing is with this turret as well is that we can of course press it on or off so you can let it spin for the remainder of his duration or you can use it a little bit longer because what the beautiful thing is with this turret is that you can turn it on or off and you have to see it a little bit like fuel you're using the turret. If it's spitting fire, it's using fuel. If you turn it off, it doesn't use the fuel, so the duration will be longer. If this thing is not spitting out fire, it will stay there and the duration will come to a halt. So you can keep this turret going even longer. So for example, you can throw it down, you can press the fire button, you can set the people in that circle on fire and then switch it off again. The duration of the fire will still be on your enemies, they will still be burning and you can just take him out with your gun if you want to combine it with gunplay and of course then doing damage with your turret. This gear set of course also has a backpack talent and a chest talent. To start with the chest talent, that is going to be the chain combustion. Enemies set on fire by the Ortiz incinerator prototype ignite other enemies within two meters. This could be a nice addition to a build as well, although this is more like a wish version of the backpack talent creeping death, because this is only two meters and it doesn't really jump over and I don't see that much people using this chest talent so maybe they can buff it up a little bit maybe within five meters that will be a lot more interesting to run that chest piece then over to the backpack and that has the talent heart stroke plus 25 percent weapon damage to enemies set on fire by the ortiz incinerator prototype and plus 25 percent ortiz incinerator prototype range this range of the turret will always be 19 meters. And why do I say always 19 meters? Because if we scroll down and see what all the boosts are for our tiers, it's damage, it's cone angle, it's burn strength, it's duration and it's health. It doesn't say anything about range 
and unfortunately it doesn't say anything about your cooldowns as well aka your skill haste so in my opinion if you want to build towards this we've been testing it out live on stream a couple of times seeing what the best builds are or what we need to focus towards and we focused straight up on skill haste because if you don't do this on skill haste and you don't have any skill haste on the build the turret's cooldown will be around 51 seconds and we all know that is way way too much so you need to build into skill haste to get it down around that 27 seconds that we have now but again this is not really a build we are still on the pts this is not my main character so i don't have all my god roll gear that i usually have on my main character over at playstation so this is just showing you what this gear set is all about but the cooldown will be one of the things you want to focus on and there are a lot of ways Ways to get your cooldown down it depends on how you like to play if you like to play with a full yellow build and wait until the fire turret takes everybody out you can do that as well or you can of course combine it with a weapon and then especially with that backpack talent as that gives you 25% damage to enemies that are set on fire by the turret and because we're using that turret we want to utilize that turret as much as possible most of the time they will be on fire by the turret then heat throw kicks in and gaining an extra 25 percent weapon damage what you kind of need because we're running around with a full yellow build but that's pretty much it about this gear set i think it is great fun to play around with i think there will be a lot of different combinations to play with this build you can combine it with shooting you can only focus on of course the skill damages and just keep it at a full skill build there are so so many combinations and there is no right or wrong let me know in the comments down below what you like about this new gear set are you using it and how are you going to set it up i would love to know what the community thinks about this but that's pretty much it quick and easy video talking about the new gear set the Firecrest 2.0 aka the Ortiz coming to season 2 and that's it thank you very much for sticking until the end you are a freaking legend if you're still here if you liked the video or helped you out in any way or form make sure to like this video and of course if you're new here and you like the division 2 or you want to just stay updated about the division 2 and the division universe make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video Pure Prime out.